The great thing with unboxing videos is that sometimes I genuinely don't really quite know what to expect and find in the box. I've got here the new Caldwell G2 Chronograph. And I know I've used quite a lot of Caldwell Chronographs over the years. I use two at the moment. But I don't actually know quite exactly what this one does and how it works, other than the fact it's an optical chronograph. But it um, it's sort of upside down. So rather than having the light sensors detecting the shadow of something going over the top of the chronograph, it faces downward and it's got the sort of what you would call the sunshades in the past actually below it. And of course, because of that, you know, you can use them indoors, etc. because you've got you don't have to worry about DC lighting and non-flickering things like that, like you used to have to do with the upward facing chronographs, if not being used in daylight. So, essentially what we have is a cordial bag with everything inside, and there's lots of it. Digging things out one at a time. We have, let's see if we can get out first. These look like the ground screens here which have some kind of illumination system in them. Um, it's mains powered, I believe it might be battery powered as well, so there's two of those. Um, let's see, good old instruction manual, which I suspect this time I will definitely want to be reading. We'll have a look at that in a moment. There's quite some sizable chunks to it. That's the tripod by the looks of it, which it comes with. And this looks like the business end of things. So let's have a look and see what we've got. That is the power supply and it comes with various plugs to use depending where you are in the world. Let's check there's nothing left in there. Just pop this down. Right. Yada yada yada, if you have a problem with this product, please don't return it to where you start purchased it, contact customer services, yada yada yada. Right, so let's read through this. It includes in the box, we have the chronograph, the ground screen assembly, the ground screen uh, connector, charging cable, USB wall adapter, tripod, carry case, European plug adapter. You're going to have to read all these instructions. Right, uh, Target must have a safe backstop, the usual things. Uh, this is good for firearms, air guns, paintballs, um, etc. Also archery, um, crossbows, things like that. And because it's not working on an acoustic centre like some of the, um, the latest fads in chronographs are, it's working on the passage of a, uh, you know, an item between this centre here and that centre there. So it, that time is the... Um, is the fact of how it calculates. Yes, I have just stuck a staple through my finger. So, velocity range from 1 to 9,000 feet per second, which equates to 2,040, sorry, 2,743 meters per second. Operating temperature, let's just go Celsius, we got plus 6 to plus 60. Bluetooth, so this goes with the app on your phone or tablet, so it requires the Caldwell app. I do actually already have that app because I've been using it on one of the previous Caldwell chronographs. Um, moisture, keep it dry, temperature, no using the chronograph, da -da -da -da. batteries, life will be reduced above 50 degrees, uh, not, uh, not 50 degrees Fahrenheit, which is not really surprising. Um, so, connect one of the ground screen assemblies to the ground screen connector by sliding the tubes into the notches, photo 11. So, ground screen, I'm thinking might be one of those. That looks like it's going to slide up like that. And then I am going to perhaps put that. This is going to be quite tricky to keep in frame, perhaps somewhere in there. Again, this is all fun to me as well. Before I plug these in, I need to see where the actual connectors are because there appear to be um, leads on the bottom, but I need to know what they connect into. So I'm just looking for a plug socket. Ah, that would appear to be the plug socket there. So let's pop these the way around. And those I'm going to plug into <laughs> their opposite sides, aren't they? So we've got one that side, one that side, those click in there. 
and in here. Okay, we've done that stage. Next stage is to, I'm thinking probably do something with this, which looks like it's going to go, let's actually start with it the right way up now, shall we? Because, of course, it's the opposite way up to normal. I probably should have started with it this way up, but that's the fun of Christmas Day unboxing, eh? It's all about reading instructions. So it would appear that that's going to fit. Right, that's going to go in there. Do those slide all the way through there? Yep, those slide through there. So I'll slide that through that side. You just know I've done this the wrong way around, don't you? So let's just unconnect that for a moment. because these need to go through here first. If all else fails, read the instructions, Christopher. In order, probably not live on camera, but we do what we do, don't we? Now, I think that's gonna clip into there. Just got to get the angle of that. Right, that's it, now that's on. Right, so beginning again that's going to go on there that's going to go on there this one's going here and that one's going there that will plug in there this will plug in somewhere here and that looks like the general construction done I wish we didn't read the instructions for so next stage Try to protect, sorry, do not try to protect your chronograph with armor plating. Bullet ricochet from hitting this plating could cause property damage. The, uh, the number one failure system for chronographs is people do tend to shoot them. So we did actually pay some attention to the fact that on the bottom there, I've left the quarter inch UNC tripod adapter on the bottom, not the other way up. So let's have a read here. Disassemblies for storage, you know, the reverse of what we've just done. Chronograph was built with a lithium ion rechargeable battery within it. That's the thing I couldn't find out about because I was looking everywhere and I couldn't see about that. And I thought it was only going to be just mains power, which I thought would be tricky for outdoor use, but I guess it's not. Um, it has got a lithium ion rechargeable battery. Battery life can depend on many factors, so runtime is approximate. This battery will power the chronograph for approximately 12 hours under normal conditions and for two hours when the lights are used. To charge the battery, follow these steps. Plug in the additional USB wall adapter, which would be this. And then we have connect the provided cord into the wall adapter. Well, I think we can pretty much assume that's not going to be too tricky. Green LED will be on it. The battery takes probably approximately two and a half hours to fully charge. Make sure the correct, prong, sorry, the correct prongs on your wall mount. So it's got various plug adapters for different, um, different countries. Although there doesn't appear to be a UK three pin, but you'll probably be able to use the two pin and just use a normal European travel adapter for that. So shall we look and see if we can see where the charge socket is? Or shall I read the instructions? Well, do you know what? For now, I will just look and see if I can see where the charging socket is, which we've no doubt going to find is invisible when I've got all the lights in here pointing directly in my eyes. Right, where does it say the charging socket is? Charging the unit, da, 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 da. connect the provider cord to what I know. Green LED. So this is definitely gonna be a two part unboxing because until it's got some charge in it, none of the systems within will work. And I, oh, hang on, did I just see it? Yes, I have, it's here. Can we see it just in there? That's the charging socket for it. Looks like a USB type C. So that's in there now. Those do seem to have a slight 
tendency to unplug, but it seems as if they got, ah, they're like a sort of wedge shape to them. So if you just give them a firmer squeeze, there we go, perfect. Right, well I'm gonna put this on charge now and hopefully I'm gonna take it to the range tomorrow and I'm going to use it. So I'm out today, I'm using the Caldwell Chronograph. It's got, it's got set up, I've got it on the tripod. Obviously I'm outdoors, I'm in the lovely daylight. I charged the battery overnight, I left it on for 12 hours. It's fully charged, no problem at all with that. I actually tested it last night in the workshop. Um, flicking rubber bands through it using the light structure at the bottom here which you can turn on turn off on these buttons the front button here does the uh, meters per second or feet per second the center button's the main power and the rear button's the one that does the light putting it together you saw on camera last night it's simple enough as long as you do it in the right right order which i've now remembered Setting it up on the tripod was okay. And I've just, you know, lined the rifle up on target and now I've just looked back from here, looked through it, sighted through with about five to 10 feet gap from the muzzle and everything's worked beautifully. So I'm very happy with that. Today, as you can probably see, is very bright sunshine, which is usually a problem for chronographs and why you always need sunscreens. But of course here, with everything being the other way up, you don't need sunscreens in the same way. And interestingly, using it last night, just testing, in the workshop with uh, with rubber bands fun as it is using the lights down here it worked perfectly as well flipping from meters per second to feet per second is fine flipping from other ways to the bluetooth connection to my iphone has been absolutely perfect i did actually already have the caldwell precision app on my phone because i've used it with my previous chronograph i literally turned the bluetooth on told it to accept the new chronograph and all was fine immediately We've just had 10 shots to it. The only one is we've missed one of the screens on one shot just because we've got quite a big target. We're shooting at 100 meters and we've got all sorts of, you know, small dots on those targets. So we just moved and we've, we've just literally missed one of the sensors on the last shot. But um, I'm being very happy with it, pleased with it. It's been easy to set up and the tripod has given me enough adjustment that I can set it up, level it. I can play with vertical because of course the last thing you want to do with a chronograph is set it up badly and hit it. Um, so I'm very happy with it. It is, you know, it's quite a large unit, but it is a precise unit and the figures it's given me out have coincided perfectly with figures from my other two Caldwell chronographs um, and match my dope for the, uh, for, the, for the ammo. So I'm very happy with it. It uses standard quarter inch tripod threads. So it's a common technology tripod folds up for easy storage that's not a problem just take that off there and then we can just dismantle it as we showed you the opposite of setting it up because it just literally clips apart folds up back in the bag everything unplugs it's a little bit easier to do this at the workbench or on a surface, but of course if I duck down there I'll be out of shot. So I've got to do it in my hands. So essentially, that's what you're left with. And then we can also take these off the ends. And everything just goes back in the bag. So, Please like, please subscribe, please follow the channel, and please comment, click that notification bell, because the more you comment, the more you partake, the more you get involved, the more videos you'll see from us. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.